It's just another day in retard Dunestan, where ANC ministers have gone on camera and yet again talked retarded nonsense. So news came out uh, on Wednesday evening about a hospital in Gaza that has been hit by an IDF rocket. People are saying it's 500 people dead. People were saying that the IDF did it. And very, very soon, like literally within a few hours, open source intelligence on Twitter was showcasing that, in fact, this was a rocket by Hamas that was misfired. It actually landed in a parking lot and that the hospital still had solar panels on it. So there's literally been hardly any damage whatsoever. Not 500 people died, closer to 30, which is overall a good news story, one would think. But if you can't blame Israel, the story isn't good enough. The Hamas fires a rocket at Israel, screws up. Rocket falls back down to themselves, and you can hear it on camera. The Hamas guy's going, is that ours? And they're like, yeah, that's ours. And they're like, crap, we just blew up our own people. And that kind of happens quite a lot in the Gaza Strip, because Hamas is generally not world-renowned as being, you know, the greatest fighting force known to man. The interesting part about this is that the ANC used the news and immediately came out and determined that genocide was occurring in Gaza, and it was the worst thing to ever happen because the Israelis are blowing up hospitals and killing the poor, innocent people inside. Only they didn't. Oh, misinformation is a polite word to say the government is lying, right? And they are lying to such a degree that they want the International Criminal Court to investigate this humanitarian crisis that Israel has perpetrated. The minister in the presidency did say the ICC should investigate Israel for war crimes because 500 people died in a hospital hit by an Israeli missile. The problem is, as we said before, that did not happen. And this is actually very, very important to understand. This fake news, when Hamas is taken at a face value and plastered all over the New York Times, has real and dire consequences for the Middle East Generally, we've seen the likes of Iran and Turkey and Lebanon saying this is a war crime. We're going to react in some way. Perpetuating the fake news creates a regional conflict in the area. If you say that what Hamas said is true, you basically want World War Three in the Middle East. This is also on the back of the fact that Pandor went and actually had a telephone call with Hamas. I mean, just for the just for everybody's knowledge, uh, Pandor is a self-confessed Muslim, so she may have political or religious reasons to side with Hamas. I'm not making any allegations as purely a fact. But with that being said, many individuals asked her, why did you call Hamas? You know, they're like a terrorist group, right? It's a little bit like saying, well, I had to, you know, call up Adolf Hitler because, you know, Germany elected him and, you know, he's not really that much of a bad guy, was he? I mean, it's a bit rich, Ramon, because the problem is what we're now seeing is two political blunders as far as South Africa's largest trading partner, the United States, is concerned. The first is we're perpetrating fake news. The second is we seem to be siding with terrorists, mate. Yeah, and we know for a fact, as we said before on the channel, that AGOA would not be cancelled, irrespective of what was being said at the time. But these are grounds for AGOA to be cancelled, right? It's not enough to send arms to Russia, which apparently did not happen based on a report that no one has ever read or has been made public. So that is up in the air. But there's no doubt in our minds that the ANC really, really, really love Hamas. In Cape Town, Hamas has an office right next to BDS, at the invitation of the ANC. Hamas came to this country in 2015 at the invitation of the ANC. The only time the ANC ever talks about the Middle East is when there's retaliation for Hamas rocket attacks in Israel. And when Israelis are butchered in their thousands, the ANC says, oh, this is not really a surprise because, you know, apartheid Israel. Not smart. Not smart. Rito Danistan 101 is South Africa because it is a retarded country run by retarded people. And it's fine if you support Hamas, but just think of the consequences of that in public, please. But they don't do that. This is really showing is that when South Africa comes to, you know, bog standard stuff like, you know, giving us electricity and water and creating a safe environment for people to create jobs and invest, like we're used to that being a complete disaster and a shit show. But you know, we're not that used to South Africa constantly going around sticking the shoe in their own mouth. Like this is actually like a new low for the ANC. Of course, the ANC is rather demented, but 
It's very unusual to see them on an international stage constantly commit blunder upon blunder upon blunder, which actually leads many of us to question, is this the ANC being retarded or is this by design? Because it's getting to a point where you have to ask yourself, is the ANC legitimately going around basically trying to give the United States reason to cancel a goer? And the best scenario, as always, is to choose a South Africa first foreign policy. What is in the best interests of South Africa? What do we get from Israel? What do we get from Palestine? What do we get from Russia or China or America? And based on that data, we can make an informed decision on foreign policy. For now, we get Foucault from Gaza. We don't even get rockets from them. That's their main export. We get a little bit from Russia. We get a little bit more from China. We get a lot more from Europe and the United States. So therefore, one would think staying neutral in the proper sense of the term would be the most obvious route. But when you're a two-year-old with a rocket, like the ANC, there is no obvious route other than chaos. What I can say is that apparently Saul Ramaphosa said in a closing speech to his NEC bullshit a couple of days ago that the ANC's renewal is irrevocable and irreversible. I gotta say, mate, The only renewal I see within the ANC right now is just further and further and further retardation to the point where we are just going to be calling our country now retard done 